Hello there, welcome to my channel on chemistry lessons. This is a BTEC Applied Science Unit 5 Chemistry and it's going to look at the reaction of alkenes with halogens. So where does this sit with the specification then? So there's four reactions we need to know. There's water, halogens, hydrogen halide, sulfuric acid. Um, but you do need some prior knowledge though on the idea of symmetric and asymmetric alkenes and stability of carbocations. So if you haven't seen the previous couple of videos on those two, uh, I suggest you start there first and I will put links in the description below. First up though, if you don't subscribe, please do. Your support is very much appreciated. Please use the likes and comments features and let me know what you think. So by the end of this video then, we're going to look at the mechanism or you're going to be able to show the mechanism for how halogens react with alkenes. So there are four reactions then, and this video is only going to look at this one in the bottom right. And the product of this reaction is going to be a dihaloalkane. So let's start with some prior knowledge. We do need to be aware that a double bond in an alkene is in fact a sigma and a pi bond. Halogens are diatomic non-polar molecules and they it's basically anything from group seven so fluorine f2 is classed as a halogen chlorine bromine iodine these are all non-polar diatomic molecules and they're all halogens let's cover the key facts for this reaction then so the carbon carbon double bond in the alkene is an area of high electron density there are four electrons shared between those two atoms electrons are negatively charged that means that alkenes are attractive to electrophiles an electrophile is a species that will accept a pair of electrons and in this case the electrophile will accept the pi electrons and electrophiles are also attractive or attracted to areas of high electron density now in this case of this specific reaction with the halogen is that electron density in the alkene polarizes the non-polar halogen and actually makes it an electrophile. Because as things stand, a halogen is non-polar, it's not an electrophile, but the alkene polarizes the halogen to make it an electrophile. And I'll show that when we do the mechanism. So when the alkene reacts, those pi bond breaks and those pi electrons will attack the electrophile and you end up with two new groups added either side of the carbons or added to either carbon or to both carbons either side of the double bond. So these reactions are known as electrophilic addition. Addition, because we're adding two groups across that pi bond or across the double bond, and electrophilic because it involves the attack of an electrophile. And in this case, we're looking at halogens X2. The best thing to do then is just to show you a mechanism. I'm going to start with a symmetric alkene. So I'm going to pick any halogen and I'm going to choose chlorine, so Cl2. And I'm purposely drawing it side on because as as things stand, chlorine is a non-polar molecule. But as I've already said, this double bond is an area of high electron density. And what it does is it repels the electrons in this bond. So it pushes the electrons this way. So these electrons get pushed down towards this bottom chlorine. And that causes a dipole. We have a slightly negative and slightly positive. So what's happened is that that double bond has polarized the non-polar molecule and it's now made it an electrophile so the reaction can now take place those pi electrons will be attracted to this chlorine and then the bond between the two chlorines breaks now we don't need to worry about a major and a minor product here because all we're doing is adding a chlorine to both of them so we're only going to get one product Let me draw a carbocation. So the chlorine, I've shown bond to the one on the right. I could have shown it the one on the left. It would have made no difference whatsoever because this is a symmetric alkene. So they both would have been absolutely identical. And just to finish the mechanism off, 
sorry I don't like the fact I've done that in white my OCD will not like that so let me change that there we go and we're going to end up with a dye halo alkane and in this case it's going to be one two dichloroethane I'll write that down one two dichloroethane Now, just to prove that it doesn't matter about an, an asymmetric alkene, so I will show a reaction, and this time I'm going to pick bromine. Do you know what I mean, bro? So I'll go with bromine. There we go. So the exact same thing happens. The bromine is polarized by that area of high electron density, and it makes it an electrophile. So we have the pi bond. There we go. This one breaks. Now, we do have two possible carbocations and both carbocations are different from each other but they'll both lead to the same product and i'll show you what i mean so if the bromine attaches to the carbon on the right we're going to have a primary carbocation if it attaches to the carbon on the left we're going to end up with a secondary carbocation which yes is more stable so let me just finish the mechanism off oh white lines don't do that so this there we go we've got our dibromo product and they're both exactly the same it doesn't matter which one or which mechanism we did we're going to end up with the same product which is this bromine on there and a bromine on there so we don't need to worry about mixtures of products here both of them are going to give the same product so we've got one two dibromo propane so key points for this reaction then that is key here that that carbon carbon double bond is an area of high electron density because that polarizes the non-polar halogen to make it an electrophile and the reaction is known as electrophilic addition and we always end up with a di halo alkane because you end up with the two identical halogens bonded to both carbons which is why we do not need to worry about major and minor product when we're adding a halogen that's not the case for the other three reactions, but it is the case for this one. And again, you'll find other videos on the other three reactions. So look out for those. I will put links in the description below as well. So thanks for watching. Hopefully that was useful. Let me know what you think. Good luck.